Welcome back, fellow gamers and enthusiasts. I'm Storm Rainer. Today we are back here in the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Now, uh, last time we left off, the game broke, and the uh, what would you call it? The uh, text box isn't showing the text, so we are back. Don't do this, Fergus. And hopefully, it fixed. Oh <coughs> my poor little rat! Okay, it fixed. Ah, you must be from the Fighters Guild. Good, I have a problem. It has to do with the rats in my basement. Mm. Rats? That's right. Rats in my basement. And something has been killing them. It's horrible. My poor babies. You must do something. I don't know what I'd do without them. Their little pink noses. Their scaly little tails. Please get to the basement and find out what's happening. Okay. Please save my little rat. You got a crazy one. I'm joking. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Do you have any drink to share? Nope. Oh, it's alright. Goodbye. Maybe I should get something. Some ale. Or like beer. Or like um, mead. Do you mind if we take some mead? Okay. <laughs> I think she would mind. Even though mead is sh shit. Come on, fight. I've killed a mountain lion in it. Everyone tell us it's basement. They must be sneaking in through a hole in the wall somewhere. I should tell Evidence what has happened. Now, obviously, there is something I can do here, and it's called uh, exploiting. And what I do is put the difficulty on very high, and then hit this rat, and the rats will attack me. And then I just have my armor on, and then I lower the difficulty to zero, and they continuously attack me. And uh, I get my um, my armor up, which, you know, I could do that, but I'm not going to do that. We're not going to exploit that severely. We might exploit somewhat. Mainly the magic. He did it. How may I help? Did I tell you? Please. Guarding your abilities. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh yeah, I think he heals me when I leave the area. Okay, Fergus. Let's go. Let's move forth. Oh, well, what have you found? Did you take care of my babies? What was going on down there? It was a mountain lion. A mountain lion? In my basement? But how? That's not possible. But it happened. What if there are more? What if it wasn't alone? Where there's one, there will be more. Find Pinarus and Ventius. He's a hunter and knows this area inside and out. He'll know what to do. Okay. Please, go find Pinarus. Nowhere did I put lions. that. Put what? Move out of the way. I don't know what he put down. Just made sure everything was okay. Okay, I'm suspicious as all. Well. Okay, it's it is recording. I'm just making sure. Cause I'm crazy. Mountain lines in my basement. But how? Why? What can I do? Inneris and Ventius, hunter, woodsman, and marksman at your service. Uh, mountain lions. Mountain lions? Here. <laughs> Odd. If they're around, I can find them. Come with me. A hunt will do us good and maybe make that old nut feel better. Okay, let's do that. Let's go hunting. Strange. Why do people have to walk so fucking slowly? Let 
Nice torch you got there. Can we pick up the pace, man? Going so slow that I I I know where exactly it is. You know, I've done the Fighters Guild so many times on the Xbox. It's kind of kind of interesting. Especially the beginning parts because obviously I always restarted because I did something wrong. Or I just felt like, oh, I can't progress. I'm just too dumb. Which I did eventually finish the Fighters Guild on the Xbox. And the Mages Guild. And the Thieves Guild. And the Dog Brotherhood, I think. Yeah, I did. Surprising. Took me a while to do all this. I suppose I haven't. Sorry, no time to talk. I have to deliver these copies of the Black Horse Courier. Here, have a... You know, I haven't read any of these, to be honest. Let's read it. Okay, the Black Horse Courier. Special edition, Emperor and Heirs assassinated. An uh, elder council named as Regents. Right? Re re Regents? I don't know. Emperor Yoyo Seven. Uh, I'm not good at Roman numeral numbers. I, I, I can go to six. Seven? The seventh? I don't know. Is dead at the age of 87. Holy shit, he was 87? <laughs> Having ruled Tamiyo for 65 years, he was killed by assassins unknown. Wait, if he was 87, how long would he have survived? How, If he wasn't assassinated, how long do you expect him to live? <laughs> Whatever. At the same time, in separate locations, the, the late emperor's three sons and heirs crowned prince... Uh, Gendal, 56, Prince in, in Man, 55, and Prince Ibel, 53, were slain by other assassins in an investigation into the identity and mo motives of these assassins is underway, but the Elder Council, Imperial Guard, and Blades have been forbidden uh, have forbidden the publication of reports and rumors concerning the events until further notice. By ancient uh, precedent... The Elder Council rules the Empire, the Emperor, wait, rules the Emperor until a new Emperor, oh, rules the Empire until a new Emperor is crowned. No, no direct heirs survive, and the Council has proposed no list of candidates. Uh, Chancellor Okato, Imperial Battle Mage, speaking for the Elder Council, uh, presented an appeal to the Empire's citizens for a claim. And ask that the people remember the Emperor, his sons, and the Elder Council in their prayers. Okay. Emperor Uriel's early reign was marked by uh, peace and prosperity. The Empress uh, Clalavora bore him three healthy sons, was a loving companion to the Emperor, and a great favorite of the people. However, the Emperor and the, em the, Emperor and the Empire s suffered terribly during the Imperial... Uh, similar crumb. 3E 389 through 399. When he was held captive in oblivion while his while the Usapir, uh, Jagrathon, assumed his appearance and ruled in his steed. Emperor Uriel was finally rescued and restored and the imposer defeated by the agency of the so sorceress Rhea Selme and her uh, sh shadowy protege, but their, but the affairs of the Empire were in great disorder, and Empress uh, Calavera, exhausted by her ordeal, withdrew from public life. Okay. The decades following the restoration were once again peaceful and prosperous, but increasing political tensions among the petty states of the Northwest Temio uh, finally erupted into the wars of the uh, Lilac Bays, right, uh, resulting in the establishment of the modern borders of Daggerfall, Sentiel, Wayrest, and Arsium, and cultivating with the remarkable events associated with the war warp in the West. I have never read any of these, so. The uh, later years of the Empire uh, Ring have seen a flourishing of imperial fluence in the provinces and with the fortunate resolution of the religious wars and the Bavarian crisis in 
With the wise and firm guidance of King Hellish, yep, Hel Seth and his mother, Queen Barazina, an ex extension of high imperial culture even into more remote parts of Morwen. The Emperor's murder and the murder of his three sons is terrible crime and a great tragedy for the Empire. Battle Mage Okoto assures us that all the resources of the Elders Council, the Legion, Legions, the Guard, the Arcane University, and the Imperial Battle College are being empl employed to bring the assassins to justice. But in the meantime, the great tribute we tribute we citizens can offer to the memory of the our beloved emperor is to go earnestly and diligently about our daily affairs honoring the life of the great emperor he loved so much and served so faithfully for so long okay okay ahem so we got the doomsday not magical says uh noted argonian writer the author of the Goblin with the Golden Arm and the Red Crater plans a new series of historical works set up in the early days of the Roman Emperor, Empire, Emperor, Empires, or Emperors. I'm sorry. The stories will center around the sorcer sorcerers and battle mages that play such a prominent part in the legends of the Roman Empire rapid rise to power in the closing years of the Second Era. Uh, she plans to call the series The Path of the Doomstones. The Argonian authoress declared, declined to reveal any details of the character and themes of these books. However, Cool Weave clearly has quite ambitious plans for this series, since she plans, uh, plans titles to correspond with the, each of the Cyrilda's 21 Doomstones. These ancient monuments are scattered throughout Cyrilda, and each is known in legend by its own name. I always carefully research my subjects, Quill Weave says, and I find no evidence at all to support the popular notion that these rune stones were once artifacts of great magical power. She noted that 13 of these stones were are as, uh, associated with the common birth signs by which people have always marked uh, the aspects of their he he heavens with when child children are born. Such stones are the such stones as the mag Mage Stone and the Serpentine Stone were certainly associated with the primary sky worship of the battle, the Beast Folk of the Mythic Era. Other stones like the Atheris Stone and the Magnus Stone were also doubtlessly associated with the other long for skating cults. I need a drink. Jeez. The courier asked Quill Weave why she might choose to abandon the popular tales of thieves, outlaws, murderers, and lowlifes that have made her so famous in Cyrodiil and throughout the Empire. She explains, explained that she has not long sought material with mere ma mature and epic themes to celebrate the noble vi virtues of Cyrodiil and the Empire. She assures the courier that she will fill the Doomstone sto series with the lust Lusty and colorful characters we come to know and love, but this time, Crowley says, my character will uproot trees, devastate cities, and summon rains of boiling blood before slipping away to explore the private and intimate mysteries of the heart. Okay. Nightmother Rituals. Uh, the Imperial City Prominent of Art. Principle of art, entertainment, scholarship, and realistically, murder? So says Adamus uh, Peladin, commander of the Imperial Legion's forces in the uh, Imperial City, and a staunch opponent of mysterious assassin skill known as the Dark Brotherhood. According to uh, Philia, Fildilla, Imperial Legion soldiers have discovered 13 s separate institutes of the Maccabri, Black Sacrament, a sinister rite proponently used to summon a member of the Dark Brotherhood in order to arrange an assassination. Okay. Whether or not a card carrying killer shows up on the ritualist performer's doorstep remains to be seen, but the Black Sacrament itself is very real and truly the stuff of nightmares. A documented in a rare, the rare and taboo work, a Kiss Sweet Mother, the Black Sacrament, 
involves an indefinite of the intended victim created from the actual body parts, including a heart, skull, bone, and flesh, within a circle of candles to proceed with the ritual. One must stab the effigy repeatedly with a dagger rubbed with the petals of nightshade plant while whispering the place, Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child upon, upon me for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. A gruesome as this ritual may be, even more frightening it, it, frightening it is its intentions. The summoning of a mysterious assassin who some witness claim is always clad in a black hooded robe who will then receive money to kill an innocent victim. No remorse, no regret. Is It is, as the merchant merchants say, simply business, and that's the worst worries. Um, the brazen inc increase in Night Mother's ritual is an affront to the to the decent, peace-loving citizens of the Empire. The Imperial Legion exists for one reason and one reason only, to protect and serve the people of Temuriel. How in Azura's name can we do that when people take it upon themselves to contract paid assassins and have innocent people murdered? How can I sleep at night knowing my Legion can't possibly save the lives of someone marked for death by the Dark Brotherhood? Anyone who carries out the Black Sacrament makes a mockery of the Imperial Legion, and as a, as a commander, that's something I can't tolerate. From this point forward, any citizen found in the possession of items related to the Night Mother ritual will be incarcerated in the Imperial Prison indefinitely. And they're properly seized by the Empire, there's no f fine high enough, no standard prison sentence long enough for the type of... Malconnet who would sh show such a blank disregard for our dear Emperor's laws and the welfare of the fine people of Tamriel. To be sure, Admetius Pilla is not one to issue empty threats. Indeed, the Black Horse Courier has learned that one uh, Cladius Arcanon, until recently a resident of the Talus Plaza district of the Imperial City, is now residing in a cold, dank cell in the Imperial's prison. And his house has become the newly, the newest Imperial Legion outpost. So before you take the law into your own hands, dear reader, remember. You go further in life with a warm smile than a cold blade. And if you're going to go... go Got a grudge that won't be soothed, a score that can't be scheduled, get settled. You can always move to Morwen and have the government-sanctioned Morgtong do the killing for you. Okay. What's this? Okay, that's the. Uh, um, that's the. Uh, what? 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 That was the uh, necromancer and the uh, first ruins that we went to. So that was a lot of reading, to be honest. If they're out here, they'll be in this area. I can't imagine there are more than four of them. Let's take care of this. <gasps> it's a mountain lion? In my basement? They're starving as well. Yeah, do you need me? Hold on. I gotta get my uh, little spells out. What is it? General command. There we go. There's a starving mountain lion here. Okay, I gotta use that every time I load up the game. I think that'll be all of them. Can't imagine more in this area. You can go tell Arvena this is all taken care of. Good hunting. Okay. Let us head back and tell her that it's all fine. So that was a lot of good information that I read from on the uh, Black Horse Courier. I have never read any of those, so yeah. Go ahead. 
A lot of good information that I missed out first off. Well met. Who are you? Wood elf. It's a wood elf. Wood, wood, wood elf. Hello. Oh, you've got to take care of those mountain lions. Mountain lions? You think you've gotten rid of them all? You do? Well, you have. But there's one in my basement right now. Go get it. Holy shit, man. We got a mountain lion in the basement. We gotta go get that. I've killed the second mountain lion in every Estellus basement. I should tell her. I wish I could pronounce people's names correctly. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you. I keep forgetting that he does that. Thank the gods you killed that thing. This is ridiculous. Someone's out to get me, to get my poor babies. I'll bet it's that quill weave next door. Oh, the author. Quill weave. She's the one. She's never liked me or my sweet little pets. I know it's her. I've even seen her sneaking around in back of my house at night. She thinks she's so smart. She and all the other women. I'll show her. I want you to keep an eye on her. Find out what she's up to. Hmm. Okay. Please save my little rats. You and your rats. I already know where to go. You just go back here, right? You just go back here. Go. You go on this nice little rock here. And then, then we just wait till like twelve. So like seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Ten, eleven, twelve. I seen Quill Weave leaving me outside of, uh, you know, who house. This must be what is attracting the mountain lions into town and into, you know, who basement. I should confront Quill Weave. Evening. Yes. What can I do for you? I saw you outside of, you know, whose house. You what? Well, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I would never go skulking about. Fine, you've got me. I figured if I left some rotten meat outside, the nasty little things would come out, and the guards would take care of them. Mountain lions. Mountain lions? In her basement? I just wanted to lure her vermin outside. I didn't mean to hurt anyone, except the rats. Please, don't tell her. And if you can keep this our little secret, I can make it worth your while. There's a bit about acrobatics I can teach you. Give it some thought. Well, since you are a writer, you too. And it makes sense that you would want to get rid of the rats. I'll tell her not that you didn't do it. So, did you follow her? She's behind it, isn't she? Tell me what you found out. Ahem, she had nothing to do with it. She didn't, huh? But you've taken care of the problem, and I suppose that's what counts. Thanks for that. Here's your payment. I like how sad she is. Oh, my rats are so cute! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, those acrobatics. So, you didn't sell me out. I appreciate that. Well, I said I'd make it worth your while. Yeah. So let me teach you a little something. You've got to be light on your feet to make it around here. And that's something I'm good at. Maybe you can be too. Take care. Rumors? They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. Oh! 
Good day. I know how to murder someone without actually murdering someone. It's actually pretty interesting.